to the dawn of the cross, so again, I get the control. Comes in, do the usual stuff. Don't push the leg. And when I shoot through to this position here, sometimes Thor will hit the skin and make this leg super heavy. So hey, he's already made that leg heavy, and it's hard for me to get up. He's, he's changed. He was originally, when I was passing on his right hip, he's done something very smart, which is unusual for Thor. Okay, so now he's on his left hip. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here, okay. so I'm going to switch to the double underhook pass, so this hand here is going to come under and grab his belt, so I'm going to bounce on his pants, and I'm going to pull the car towards me. So it's good for you here, okay. it's good move for you. I'm going to get hand to hand, okay, I'm going to move my weight forward and sprawl, so I'm going to bring on, on the balls of my feet, grab his lapel, same as before, and make him eat his knee, hand to the pants, okay. Same pass, you always want to be looking for the, um, the path of least resistance when you pass the guard. So sometimes you go for a pass, you switch to another pass. Okay, so we're here. So these guys know, already know that pass. Here, he comes in, arch my back, break up with his guard. So as my elbow comes under and as I'm shooting through, Carl moves his hip. Okay, he's made that very heavy for me. So I don't want to be trying to force this pass. So the other hand's coming underneath. Now I've got to make sure that I grab and I pull him on the way up. As I go to pass, the car makes frames, so I can't pass. So I won't always pass to the path of least resistance. So you can switch the sides from here, just to here. here. So I can't pass one side, I can pass the other side. That's the advantages of the double underhook pass over the single underhook pass. And also sometimes what happens is, why I might switch to this pass, is right here. As I switch to this, let's just say I didn't get the trip and I didn't go all the way back, the car is snagging. Okay, and I know that if I pass it through, I've got this little triangle. Okay, so from here, if I feel that I'm in danger of getting triangled, I'll just come underneath. Come up, yeah, and then I go for the pass. Okay, so, again. You want to be able to switch from one pass to the other. Again, advantages of double underhook passes. I can switch if he's making frames to the other side. Pass the other way. It's basically the same pass. Or if I feel that I've left this hand exposed, I'm just going to pull it through. Rather than risk getting triangle, this is why sometimes the double under pass is, is uh, safer. I'll just come underneath. If the belt's off, just grab the side of the pants, pull them on like that, yeah. so controlling his hips, now I sprawl on them, so I just put pressure, all pressure pass, making me this knee. Yeah. There's no twist, there's only forward. And I fill that space. Okay, got one more pass guys, let's go for five. 